Hey everyone, welcome back to GM Details. Now if you remember in last week's video, where we showcased the Detail Kitchen Palette Cleanser Snow Foam. Well this is just a continuation of that video and moving on to a basic maintenance wash using a few products I haven't highlighted yet. First one being HDD High Definition Detail Breakthrough Wheel Shampoo. This was the first wheel shampoo, dedicated wheel shampoo that I actually used. Going back two years, 2019 was the first bottle that I bought and I then upgraded to the litre bottle which you can just see behind you as I'm filling up the buckets here. 30 millilitres is all you need in one of these 20 litre buckets here. Now it says on the website that you can use this through a snow foam lens using very similar 25 to 50 millilitres of product. I'll tell you now, don't waste your time uh, with using it in a snow foam lens. It just doesn't work very well. Uh, there's no slickness to it. Uh, it's quite thin. Um, just don't waste your time. Use an IK foamer if you want some foam before you use it. But best of all, it's used, as we have it there, in a bucket of water. That's what it's designed for and that's what it works at really well. Before we talk about that, I'd just like to say that the snow foam that's on the wheels isn't breakthrough, it's actually the Detail Kitchen snow foam, it's just because it was filmed at the same time. Anyway, why are wheel cleaning shampoos necessary and why should you use them? Well, in a nutshell, it's simply because A, they just offer a little bit more of a bite in the shampoo than a normal car shampoo and B, they retain a little bit more suds than a normal car shampoo when you're dipping uh, your wash media, your mitts and stuff like that back into your bucket full of suds so you retain a little bit more slickness, the suds and cleaning power is a little bit better so there's three separate things there of why you should use them. Let me, let me uh, uh... Let me add a little bit of spice to that. So this was just something else that Nick at Gilly Wash on Instagram was looking at as well, was a range of wheel cleaners versus wheel shampoos. And he actually found there was a great deal of similarity between them, between the pH levels and the cleaning power. So your choice really what you want to use, whether you want to use a wheel cleaner or a wheel shampoo. My preference now on a maintenance clean is a wheel shampoo rather than a wheel cleaner as such. And as you can see here, it's still pulling the dirt out just as well as a wheel cleaner, but with the added suds encapsulating your dirt and grit in your wheelbarrows and allowing it to flow out. Whether it's right for you or not, only you can decide that. So after we've finished cleaning the barrels and the faces of the wheels, a little bit of 5% Built Hamber Atom Mac just to help stop the brake disc from oxidising. A little bit squirt through the spokes and what that does is it just helps to prevent that horrible build up of orange brake dust oxidisation on the surface of your brake disc and in the winter time can help neutralise the road salts on them as well, a very useful product. So speaking of useful products, Garage Therapy 1 Tire Serum. If you remember back to my review at the beginning of the year, I did a little sort of diary uh, review of it as, as it was being used throughout the, month, the winter months and everything absolutely positive about it, ease of use, how the tyre actually looked, but it wasn't keeping its looks due to the winter conditions. Now in the warmer weather the tyre looks 100% better, as you can see the water beading from it and things and it's a lot easier to clean as well. So I'm going to keep on using the tyre serum, I think it is a fantastic product to use on your tyres and with it being the conditioning element to it it can only be a good product to continue using on it so all of the tire dressings from my car in particular no going to be used it's just going to be this one and i haven't been paid to say that so on recommendation of a few people on instagram 
and on the, the detailing Speed 6 podcast. They were all recommending this very lovely silvery Carbon Collective Lysol shampoo. So I'm going to give that a try. Look at it. Very silvery. See what it smells like. Ooh. Smell. <clears throat> now it says to add 10 to 20 milliliters. Let's go with the 20. Look that, nice. A few moments later. <laughs> Oh God, right, so Specky McSporn would have trouble with that and his massive test tubes. So I've got this Lokillin wash mitt that I saw on AliExpress. It's described as their latest ultra soft premium auto detailing mitt for to best for two bucket wash. <laughs> so I thought I would buy it and try, you get two mitts for six pounds with free delivery within 10 days, bonus. So I thought I'd give that a try with the new shampoo as well, just to see how the two of them go together. So we'll just finish topping up the rinse bucket and we'll see how we get on. So 20 milliliters can offer you all that lubrication, suds and cleaning power. And I've just left a little bit here on the bottom of the door here to show you the cleaning power between the top half and the bottom half. You can see the tide line there of the traffic film that's still in the bottom of the car, still to be cleaned. Phenomenal slickness on the shampoo just makes the, the contact wash just so much easier with using with your microfiber wash mitt or even the noodle wash mitt on the lower half that I use here. Um, there was no differences between them in terms of lubricity on, under the under the mitt under the wash media. Um, so. There's not much else to say really about the shampoo other than the fact, obviously you know, it's pH neutral, it's wax safe, sealant safe, because it's pH neutral and not alkaline, and also there's no waxes inbuilt in the shampoo to mask any of your wax or sealant properties. So it doesn't damage any of your protections, just a simple, plain, pure shampoo with a gorgeous scent, it's like an aftershavey type scent. Um, anyone that has EZ, I think it's the Gentleman's Club shampoo, it's very similar scent on that one as well. It's the very first Carbon Collective product that I've actually tried. I tried to get a hold of the Carbon Collective Platinum Wheels ceramic for my wheels there, but it wasn't available in stock, so I went for the KKD R Evolve, still a fantastic ceramic for your wheels. So I look forward to trying more stuff from Carbon Collective in the future. 
And also I have a top five of shampoos that I absolutely love to use. And one of them has just been kicked out by Lusso here. So stay tuned for another video on my top five shampoos. That'll be interesting, won't it? <laughs> okay, it won't be that interesting to see five shampoos in one video. But if you'd like to see what my top five shampoos are, then follow me on Instagram, gm underscore details. I'll certainly pop up a picture and a little story about my top five shampoos I love to use. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. I hope you've taken something out of it. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch it and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, take care. Cheerio bye.